Hello guys, my name is Miguel. Thank you for watching Information Security Newspaper videos. So today we have an interesting topic. We're going to tell you how you can upload websites into the dark web thanks to OnionShare. But guys, remember, if you want to view more of our content, you can follow us on our social media. The links are down below. Hey, hello guys. Today we're going to talk about something really great. It's a new and interesting way for upload websites inside the dark web. Well, as you know guys, the deep web and the dark web is all this part of the internet that is not crawled or indexed with the regular search tools like Google, Bing or Yahoo. Well, let me tell you the main difference between the deep web and the dark web is well that the dark web is much smaller and it's more difficult to access on it. And well, this dark web is the place where you can find guns, weapons, uh, drugs, and even child pornography. So the purpose of this video, guys, is to show you how you can upload a website inside the dark web. And of course, thanks to OnionShare, with a temporary URL for Tor Browser. So please, buddies, first of all, don't misuse this information. Well, as you know, the Tor Browser was created to be one of the world's strongest tools for privacy and freedom. The Tor Browser isolates each website you visit so third-party trackers and ads can't follow you and well that's why criminals sell illegal stuff in here now let me talk you about OnionShare there's a new version available so OnionShare was a program that was originally designed to let you easily and anonymously share and receive files from the dark web and well with the release of OnionShare 2.2 users are now able to create basic websites and publish them anonymously on the dark web using a Tor URL and of course, thanks to Tor, nobody can have access to your IP address and that way they won't know your identity or ban the website. So guys, this video is to show you how you can upload your own website inside the dark web. Here are some examples and please, if you got any questions, write us down. So as you can see on your screen, guys, uh, well, to publish a website through OnionShare, first you have to save the website page. For example, in here we are going to use the Twitter official login site, like I'm showing you right now. Then you have to open your OnionShare and drag the website data, such as the HTML, the JavaScript, the images, files for your site into the program screen. And then you have to click on the publish website tab. Once published, OnionShare will display a random Onion URL that you can share with others. And finally, as you can see, we go to the Tor browser and we open the given URL. We have two more examples. As you can see, we tried with the website of HSBC and we did exactly the same. First, we accessed the original website and we saved it. Then we accessed OnionShare and we choose the files and the information of the website. Later, we clicked on publish website and automatically OnionShare generated a new URL. And then of course, we go to Tor and we check the link. Now we go with the next example, we choose Instagram. As you can see, we did exactly the same. We save the website, then we attach it on OnionShare, then we publish the website, copy the Tor URL, and we checked it in the Tor browser. It's pretty simple, right? Guys, let me tell you, we choose these examples because these are really good websites and simple designs. But if you want to upload better content, you can start from zero. You can program your own website. Please guys, remember that the URLs in here are temporaries. So if you want to use OnionShare to publish a website, you intend to remain online for a long time, it's important to remember that your computer itself is literally the web server. So if you turn off your website or just suspend your laptop, the website will go down. So to prevent this, you will have to use a computer that's always turned on. Or you can also go to settings and check the option use a persistent address. This means that if you close OnionShare and reopen it again, the URL will stay the same next time. So guys, that was it. This was kind of a tutorial, but if you have any questions, please write us down. Amigos, thank you so much for watching the video. I want you to please help me sharing the video. You can also comment, give us a like. Anyway, my name is Miguel. Please don't misuse this information and see you in the next one.